Good morning, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shwa and uh, I am the host and founder of a podcast for Life of Vishwa. It's a weekly podcast and uh, as uh, if you have already watched my shows or listened to them, you must have subscribed to that. If you haven't, please do so. Uh, today I have a very special guest with me and she is uh, sitting in New Jersey somewhere. I won't tell you the location, but uh, I am really uh, grateful for her time and her presence uh, on my podcast today. I hope you will uh, listen or watch her and let me know what you think of our conversation. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, rate and review uh, Light Up Ichwa. And you can visit all the basic uh, social media platforms and also visit my website lightupichwa.com. So here we go. Sadaf. Hi, Sadaf. Good Hi, morning. How are you? Fine. How are you? Doing well. Please, uh, could you introduce yourself uh, and your full name? Sure. I'm Sadaf Jaffer, and I'm the mayor of Montgomery Township, and I also teach uh, South Asian, Islamic, and Asian American studies at Princeton University. Oh, wow. I think you had asked about how I sustain myself. Um, and it's always through literature and the arts for the most part. That's mm. And I think most of us do, you know, we watch a film or we listen to some music or, mm -hmm. you know, it, that is what brings beauty, beauty to our lives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's important to keep that going and not forget about it. Excellent. 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 Thank you. All right. So let's come to your parenting. What kind of parent are you? How would you define yourself? Um, you know, I was so freaked out when I became a parent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do I do now? Um, oh, so you weren't prepared to, like, didn't you read all those books and get prepared to become a mother and all that? No? I don't know okay. if I did or okay. if I didn't, but okay. it's just a very scary process. All right. Um, but I know that the best advice or the advice that stuck with me from, from my mom when I had my little baby with me was, you know, just give her a lot of love. That's the most important thing. It's and, not, you know, are you teaching her baby sign language? Mm, are you feeding mm, her this particular, mm, you know, homemade baby food? It's just give the baby a lot of love or the child a lot of love. And everything else will kind of follow from that. And what and do you mean so, by that? Like, how do you give love? To be well, like, I mean, I, I, I would say that I'm very affectionate. I hug and kiss my daughter every day and I mm -hmm. tell her that I love her and, um, I encourage her with whatever she's doing, whatever she's interested in. I just, I think, let her be a kid. Um, Spending more time, what would you say about that? Is that showing your love? It can be, but also not, a, not everyone has the time. I mm. wouldn't say that I'm able to spend a whole lot of time with her, mm. to be honest. Right. Um, but I do try to have some time with her every day. Okay. And... Um, and make sure that she's well taken care of, healthy, uh, mm. has all of her things that she needs for mm. school and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So would you say you but, were a, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I also think that we do put way too much pressure on ourselves too. Like, what does that somehow mean? we all made it, we all survived. Generations ago, people didn't read 20 books about parenting. That's true. To their kids. Mm. Like, mm. there's a balance, you know, mm. you want to care, but also just don't stress yourself out so much when trying to be the perfect parent. Just, mm -hmm. you know, just go with the flow to some degree. Okay. So, uh, okay, that's a good advice. Uh, anything that uh, remained with you from your childhood that you think that mm -hmm. uh, really made you uh, add it to your parenting or stuck with you, that you utilize those skills while you are parenting your child? Right. Um, I think being silly with, with your child, I think is great. And I think mm. my, my parents, especially my dad was very good at that, oh, nice. uh, being encouraging, uh, and kind of expecting a lot. <laughs> my parents definitely expected a lot <laughs> from me. And I feel like I'm the same with my daughter. I'm like, no, okay. you need to be doing this. And, okay. Um, that. so that has stuck with me. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. yeah Anything those... that you didn't like, uh, when you were growing up and you avoid that, doing that to your child, or you wouldn't want that, um, 
attribute or any habit or uh, you know trait of parenting that you don't want to use or utilize with your own child that you mm -hmm. never liked well, I would certainly say that I'm not strict at all. That's what I was going to ask not, you. Are you not strict, strict or not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it yeah. means your parents were strict, strict with you. Hmm? To some degree, to some yeah. Degree. I okay. mean, they weren't like super strict. But mm -hmm. I know, and I think a lot of parents feel this way. Like, oh, my parents would never have uh, accepted my, their kid <laughs> acting the way my kid acts. You know? Okay. So, uh, but, you know, I also think that that's a luxury of having one child. Like I, I think my patience would be a lot thinner if I had more than one, mm -hmm. um, which is one of the reasons why I'm like I think one's good. <laughs> oh, oh, you've I decided? Okay. Do more than that. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, you know okay. we we have I we are very blessed in our situation, mm -hmm. and I know that my daughter is also very privileged. Um, mm. So I think trying that's a challenge, like trying to understand, try to know how to get that across to her. You know, ah, like yes. not everybody has because one you. child can be right. spoiled. The, uh, right. I mean, right? any any number of children can be spoiled, uh, but okay. that is, I think, getting that across. But she's very empathetic, mm. uh, which is important. yeah, that's important. And yes, so exactly. Uh, just try trying to teach that and help her understand. I want her to know that, you know, it's not just to be expected that she has all the things that she has. Mm. Uh, it's she's very lucky. That's good. Mashallah. Good. That's very good. She has a good mother. Uh, we won't talk about her father today, but I'm sure he is good too. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and I'm sure without his support, you won't be able to do so much. With no your way. Child. Yeah, Not definitely. It's so, a family yeah. thing. To have I have to I have to give him uh, some credit here. <laughs> Absolutely, it would be impossible right. with a child. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's good. It. That's so, good. Um, any suggestion uh, that you would like to give uh, to mothers in your position uh, as a parent? Any any suggestion that is a key that you would think that oh, I wish somebody had told me if if there is anything. I, I think that some of the best advice that I got was as long as she is being taken care of, it's a, you don't have to be the one doing it. Like oh, okay. I remember I was at work and I got a phone call uh, and I was in a different town. Uh, I got a phone call from her daycare that, you know, she was sick or something. Mm -hmm. And I felt so guilty because my, I was like, well, you have to call my husband because I'm not in town and mm -hmm. he'll come and pick her up. And I was talking to one of my friends and I said, you know, I feel so bad. I should be there. And he said, you know what? It's okay. She's fine. She's someone, her parents coming. She's going to be taken care of. So I think that, especially for mothers, taking some of that pressure off of ourselves that we have to do mm. everything ourselves, yes. that it takes a village and it's okay to take support yeah. from others. Right. Do, you have, do you have family that uh, supports you? Uh, usually we don't live near any family. Um, okay. But right now my mother-in-law has been here for okay. a while. And that's been very, very helpful. Okay. Excellent. I assume it's a good relationship. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because that's another, that's a whole full series <laughs> about mother-in-laws and daughter-in-laws. And then <laughs> whether it's Asian or not depends. Right. But I, I, I've heard all kinds of things about mother-in-laws. So right. one day you will be most probably. And, right. Uh, we all will be, I guess. And it's it's interesting how that plays out in our lives right. so, <laughs> so I, 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 I'm giving everybody this is like a very good relationship you all should have that right. <laughs> okay uh, how do you manage uh, your work and um, your home balance work-life balance as they say? I, I would say right now there isn't a lot of balance it's mostly work oh uh, okay and okay. home is for the most part managed by my husband okay. um, mother-in-law right now okay and uh, it's just very crazy with the pandemic, uh, the elections coming up mm. a lot. Oh, uh, wow. Juggle, uh, my political commitments and my, uh, academic commitments. So oh, I wouldn't wow. say that there's a lot of balance right now, to oh. be honest. Oh, wow. Just making it through. And that's why it's, I think it's give and take sometimes, especially in a two career family, uh, sometimes you're giving more support to one partner, sometimes giving more support to another. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Excellent. So 
not excellent actually so how do you do you walk exercise meditate breathe i've started i've taken up running in the mornings oh you like to run mm. yeah okay do you meditate nowadays it's in in fashion no in- meditation <laughs> mindfulness is not really my thing oh not okay no. hmm you look calm <laughs> yeah i manage somehow without it <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um all right. That's very good. Um then I should be more grateful for uh, your time here today because you are, have no work life balance and and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank and, you really appreciate that honestly. Um what kind of um brought up would you be giving your child is it a, a, a mix of uh, like like do you have uh, a label for it or is there a mix of uh, things that you are teaching her or would want her to be because once you are out of your uh, political uh, job mm-hmm. then i i'm sure academics is quite uh, handsful also it's not something yeah. simple that you right. will be like ah now i can really meditate right. Right. <laughs> so anything on that like how how would like your child is very young now right yes. so is she going to be uh, so from interfaith point of view and mm-hmm. from uh, a muslim perspective and mm-hmm. being in this culture because she's born brought up here and in the social media times Mm-hmm. uh how how do you manage that well i think that um there is a lot of emphasis on being a good person caring about others um being informed about her heritage and trying to connect with it in different ways which can be hard mm-hmm. uh i had wanted her to like study urdu or there's a hindi school in town wanted to sign mm-hmm. her up for that mm-hmm. but she has no interest mm-hmm. you know Um, Do you speak had, Urdu with her? I don't really. No. So how is he, she going to have interest in that? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, she could. She could. She really? wants to learn Chinese. Um, oh. So, does she have Chinese yeah. friends or maybe? Yes, she does. Yeah. Does she have Urdu friends? <laughs> Some children no, say, "Ma, I mean, uh, this is Urdu has, person." <laughs> that is, it's funny because she'll say, "Like this is an or this looks like an Urdu restaurant." It's, it's very funny. Yes, I've she, heard uh, that from my <laughs> nieces. Like this is the Urdu person. It's like okay, <laughs> that's how they address. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, okay. Um, I think that there's you know different ways to connect to to heritage. So you do we, want her to know about your heritage. You do want to. So, yeah. Okay, so the thank you so much for all this insight and I don't want to let you go but I will have to. So I need <laughs> to get to uh, my last leg of questions because uh I really found uh, lots of interesting aspects and perspectives from you. Mm-hmm. So what is wealth in your experience? Well, I mean I think wealth generally is how many resources you have and hmm. whether it's financial resources or cultural resources mm. or um other types of of resources that you have at your disposal. Okay. Thank you. Uh what is the value of gratitude in your life? It's extremely important. I think it's the only thing that can keep us grounded and and centered. Mm. Uh I think a lot of the bad things that happen in the world are because people don't appreciate what they have. I'm sure you have a lot of value of time. Yes. <laughs> so what is how do you define time? Well, it's, you know, we all have a limited amount of it in our lives, mm-hmm. in our days, mm-hmm. and so how we choose to spend it is really important and it's precious. Mm-hmm. No, I really appreciate your time because you have chosen to be here <laughs> and then in spending time with me a little bit of your whole life. I mean, this is wonderful, really nice. Um So before I get into other questions just I realized I I would love to ask you uh, one thing that you would like to change about yourself. Hmm. Yep, this is a surprise question. <laughs> And one thing that you like about yourself. Um I'll start with what I like about myself. <laughs> Okay. Which is that I care about people, and I that hasn't gone away. 
and I, okay. I don't see it going away. Like ultimately, everything that I do is because I care, uh, whether it's about my community, my family, my friends. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I like that, that okay. that's what drives me. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I was a bit more organized. <laughs> uh, I think that that would help. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that I can kind of have so many different projects going at one given mm-hmm. time. Um, but I think that that lends itself to things like politics because you're always constantly new issues coming up, constantly new things to deal with. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I do wish I was a bit more organized. Mm-hmm. Do you think politics is hard? It's, it, in, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because, um, it's, as I said, there's constantly crises coming up and there's so much, uh, anti-government sentiment in the public Mm. and that can get really tiring and why is Um, that i mean i have never understood everywhere that is it's not only in the u.s i think it's it's there's conspiracy theories there are some bad actors but it becomes sensationalized Mm. and those bad actors want you to believe that everyone's bad so Mm. they also spread it like oh well Mm. it's not just me everyone's a criminal in politics and it's like no Mm, no true right Um, so, but it's it's very seductive mm. of an idea, especially mm. for those people who aren't involved to say, yeah. oh, everyone involved in politics is right. terrible. And you're like, easy to no, judge. that's not true. Mm. Um, so I think that there is, there is something very inviting about that sort of uh, sentiment. And then mm. you can say, you can excuse yourself for not getting involved. Like, okay. well, I don't want to get involved with that because everyone's terrible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, if you don't get involved, then everyone might be terrible there. <laughs> So, um, that's that, true. I think that's that true. It's, it's dealing with that kind of sensitivity okay. and being in the public eye is okay. definitely not yeah. tiring. Right. Yeah. All right. And uh, have you found your purpose in life as a I mother, so. politician, teacher, yeah, I think, professor? I think it's just trying to make trying to make life better for everyone as much as I can. Okay. Um, Everyone. I, actually, my husband is the one who who helped me kind of get to that because I was kind of like, I, when we were married early on, I'm like, what is the point? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> and like, well, let's try to make life better for others, little by little. And oh, that's, nice. That's kind of what I've done. That's nice. Good. Good. Uh, any message of hope? Yeah, I would say that you know, most people out there are good people trying okay. to do the right thing. Mm. In every field, including politics. Mm. So you don't need to feel so cynical about things. We're generally headed in the right direction. Mm. And it's because of the hard work of a lot of people. So we just need to keep going mm. down the, the right path. Mm. Would you say as a, as a professor, as a teacher, uh, is there something that uh, schools and universities can do to have that mindset of being more open and positive rather than being cynical about mm. things? Yeah, I think that that I do think that our education system is part of the problem. Like mm. we're constantly taught to critique, yes, but not how to build things. Mm. So I think that you know, in in our work where we're critiquing the system or we're saying you know these are the problems, these are, these are the flaws, it should be coupled with one. And how are you going to fix it? How are you going to yes. try? How what is the solution? Gonna, right? It's very easy yes. to tear things down. Yes. It's very hard to build things built. up. Yep. Yeah. So do you do you use this mindset that what you just mentioned in your teaching? I do. I do. So, you know, as I said, I teach uh, Islam in South Asia and South Asian American literature and film. And um, I think especially when it comes to the American uh, studies part of it, there can be times when my students say, well, the United States is just a racist place Mm. and it's always been this way and it's not changing. Mm. Uh, And what I've told my students and even in the Montgomery Mosaic discussion group that I've had is the American dream is an aspiration. It's not, we're not there. Mm -hmm. uh, Something that we want to accomplish, Mm -hmm. but we should keep the dream alive. Cause if we give up on that, then everything is going to just get worse, but actually things are getting better. We are having more rights. I mean, there's absolutely no reason why a person like myself should be a mayor. Um, mm. a, woman, a woman, a minority, a Muslim, a child of immigrants, but other people have made it so that I could have these opportunities. So we need to keep doing that for the next generations, keep mm. improving things. And somehow we've been able to overcome entrenched systems, oppressive systems like imperialism, slavery, uh, right. you know, patriarchy uh, that would want to prevent women from getting the positions that we have now. So I try to keep the hope alive, even though it might be hard for me 
it definitely when I talk to others, I try to do that. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for that. Really appreciate that. That's important. All right. My last question. What lights you up? Uh, my daughter. Absolutely. Really? Hmm. She, you know, just. How? She just, uh, I think a child is kind of just like a lo love incarnate in a person. You know, they're just, <laughs> they're so innocent. They're so That's enthusiastic. True. And <clears throat> there's so much promise hmm. and opportunity. So, and they give us a reason to keep working hard and That's trying true. to improve things because, you know, we want things to be better for them. That's true. That's true. Anything you want to say before you leave your experience uh, on this podcast or anything, any, uh, any message, anything? Yeah, I, I think it's just that I, I am always open to opportunities and to discussions. And uh, I, would, I would suggest that because I think you never know what's on your path. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I became mayor that day, I was so overwhelmed and I told my husband that this is a very unexpected life milestone. <laughs> this is not in my plan, mm -hmm. but it's great that it happened. And I think as long as you're open to the possibilities that come your way in life, mm. there's a lot of great things that can happen. Excellent. Excellent. Really appreciate your time. Cool. Thank you, Sadaf. Have Thank a you. wonderful uh, rest of the months before you. you get off of your mirror ship. Yes. And uh, all the best with your, uh, you know, teaching. Thank and you. I hope our uh, paths cross again and uh, get some more time from you to talk about and discover or discuss other stuff. Yeah. And um, so I will put your, your links if you want, uh, if people want to discuss with you or find out more sure. about you. Uh, mm -hmm. We will have uh, your links in our show notes. Okay. Right. Is there anything, uh, any link that uh, you want them, uh, the audience who are listening or watching to know? Yeah, I mean, you can find me on, I have a website, sadafjaffer.com. I have my LinkedIn, um, I have a Facebook page, okay. uh, Instagram, okay. whatever, whatever your social media so, right, uh, right. preferences. Okay. Thank you so sure. much.